Well, mate. Anything good on the telly? Graham in? I don't know where he is, Colin. He was meant to be meeting Shirley for me. Look, to be honest... Yeah, cough all of these, will you, Mark? My arms are aching. I've got a big boil underneath one of them. Excuse me. You don't mind if I come in and wait for him, do you? Only I want to talk to him. It's quite important, really. It's a bit cold in here, isn't it? I'd put a bit more eating on if I were you. Hey, you don't mind if I have a drink, do you, Mark? Cheers. Graham says he puts more than his whack in the kitty anyway. Cheers, Mark. Yeah. Well, first of many tonight, this is. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna get really drunk tonight. Absolutely blind, bollocking, rat arsed out me head pissed. Right. Might be seeing a few of the lads from the Morris Dancing Club later if you fancy it. Yeah, we might be going down a club or something, you know. On the razzle like. Well, why not, eh? She would. No, I I've gotta go to work. There's been a disemboweling. What you say? Hey, Wendy, you're a really great dancer. Oh, you're not bad yourself. Thanks. Where did you learn? The police station. The police station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, you want to give up smoking, don't you? That's a filthy habit. Yeah. You drink some more wine? Oh, more wine, yes, please. I need a Hey, Wendy, would you mind if I put something a bit quieter on? No. Okay, what do we have? Look, Colin, um... I, I get depressed sometimes, too, and... And when I do, I, I, I sing myself a little song and hope that it all goes away. Yesterday, all my troubles seem so far away. Now it looks as though they're here to stay. Oh, I believe in... Yesterday. Why, shit?
Just unload it for work in the morning. Ah, uh, Wendy. Colin isn't going to mind me crashing here tonight, is he? There's no reason why I should, is there? Six buckets, come find me. Hello, Martin. Hello. Where's the, uh, the body? Over there. Over there. Through there. Up there. And down through there. Chris? No, Blinsky. No. Blinsky. No! God! No! Wake up. Wake up. It's Wendy, okay? Wendy. Marsha. Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Oh, you're having a nightmare, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah, Colin used to have nightmares all the time. He used to dream that the Mormons was chasing him. I'd always felt that in my relationships with women, and especially with Wendy, that this Hello, was... Hello, Colin. You still here, are you? Yeah, Mark. Sorry, yeah. You're back, are you? Oh, I like your case, Martin. It's red, isn't it? Look, Mark, I'm sorry about all that crying and screaming and scratching about and everything before. It's not like me. I didn't mean to get on your nerves. I, I, I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry, Mark. It, it, it won't happen again. It's just like that. Once when I was a kid, I, I fell into this pond. And it, it's a similar sort of yeah. feeling, you know, like... I have a confession to make. You know that stuff I told you earlier about my past? Yeah. And about who I am? Mm hmm it was all lies, Wendy. What do you mean? I mean, I haven't been telling you the truth. Good night, Colin. Yeah, good, good night then, Mark, yeah. I was sorry to hear about you and Shirley. What about me and Shirley? You know, I, I about you splitting up and everything. No, no, Colin, you got it all wrong. We're getting engaged, all right. Look, I, I, I got the ring today, look, right? Ring, engaged, yeah? Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Mark. Oh, I must have got the wrong end of the stick. No, it's just when Shirley came in with Graham earlier, you know, and they were both a bit drunk and giggly-like, and then they went through to Graham's room with that bottle of vodka. I mean, I naturally thought, you know how you do. I, I, I thought... Well, I'm sorry, Mart. I, 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 I didn't mean to, uh... Oh, I must have got the right end of the stick. No, no, they're, 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 they're probably, uh, uh reading or, 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 or the video game. Colin. You've said enough, okay? Oh, I've got some talking to do. Yeah, don't mind me, Mark. I am Charlie! I'm going to bury you! You vipers! I bloody love you, I do! I'm going to bury you! I'm going to kill you! I'm going to kill you! I'm going to you! I thought we were getting on so well. Oh, come on. Who are you, then? That's the whole point. I don't know who I am. I don't even know my own name. You see, I've suffered a total loss of amnesia. You must remember something. No. No, all I remember is coming to, roaming the streets of Middleford all the time feeling that there was something strange about this town. Something was badly wrong. Not quite right. And then I figured it out. The children. What children? Exactly. There are no children in Middleford. Well, well, that's just the kind of town it is. And what kind of town is that? Town with no children. I blame myself. I shouldn't have left the fire, but perhaps if I only left the quid, it wouldn't have gone so far. Look, Mark, don't, don't get upset. Look, what I do when I get depressed, I, I sing myself a little song. Why she had to... Shut up, Colin! It's just a screwed up piece of paper. It's got my name and address on it. Yeah, and, and look, I found this. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's a sort of optical paperweight, isn't it? You see, I, 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 I came here because of your address on the paper. 
And I thought that, ah, uh, that you might recognize me. That, ah, uh, you might be able to tell me who I am. That you, you might be able to make me feel like somebody. You gotta help me, Wendy. Help. I've never seen you before in my life. Well, you've been a great help. Uh, perhaps it'll be a good idea if I uh, left now. Thank you very much. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. Wait! Do you want to borrow a scarf or something? You know, this reminds me of a book I once wrote about a baseball player who went out into the snow to try and save a busload of kids. Only when he got out there, right? It was so cold, he decided to go to a drive-in movie instead. Remember something? What? You're a writer, yeah? I guess so. You're getting your memory back. Yeah. Can I stay now? Yeah. Do you want a cup of tea? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never met a writer before. And the story ends. Well, the bus just sinks into the snow and they all die. Cocoa Pops or Wheaty Flakes? What? Oh, it's hot. Oh, what time is it? Half eight. Oh, no! Did you sleep all right on the sofa? Yeah, like a lark. Hey, is it really okay for me to hang around for a few days? Yeah. Just so I get my memory back. That's okay. okay. Oh, you can clean clothes. There's someone calling you can borrow. Oh, great. How do you like your eggs? Mm. I haven't got time. Help yourself, though. Okay. Hang on, I'm just going to feed the fish. Look, if I'm not back in the evening, if you just give it a couple of small pinches... Ow! 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 Fish bit me, Marty! Goldfish bit me! Listen, can you change your plug on the hoover for us if you got time? Okay. There's a smoke driver. There you are. Nothing, just put it down, I'll do it later. What's the matter? Put it down, I'll do it later. joins up at the back. Sounds really nice. And you don't really notice he's American after a while, you know. We just sat and talked for ages. We got on really well. It's never happened to me like this before, Julie. It's like something out of a film or a book. Or a catalogue. What am I hearing? I don't believe how naive you are, Wend. Look, you've only known this bloke for one evening. He's probably back there right now, loading the entire contents of your flat into the back of a lorry. Oh, Dead, Julie. Why have you always got to be so negative about everything? You're such a pessimist. I was right about Colin, wasn't I? I suppose so. First time I saw you with him, down the in place, with that bloody label sticking out the back of his jumper, I knew. 
I had his number. What a wanker. Oh, well, if you want to come round tonight and check me American Friends labels, Junior, you're very welcome. You might as well check he's got all his fingers and toes and have a look at his teeth while you're at it. You never know, he might have a filling or something. Here. Yeah. Shall we have a look at the body? No, I don't want to. Oh, come on, it's really good. I bagged it up last night. It took ages. No, you're sick, you are, Julie. You want to look too? Come oh, on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Think I've been sitting here guarding a trolley of mints. What have you got to be guarded for, anyway? Perhaps they're afraid someone might break in and make the shepherd's pie out of it. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I think I bought six pounds of sausages off him last night. Sarge to Wendy, are you receiving me? All right, Sarge. Proceed to 49 Farndale Road, where a Mrs. Jenkins is complaining that her husband has been sucked down a drain. What? I did. I saw it with my own eyes. The drain just sucked him in. Look, you can see the scratch marks there from his buttons and his teeth. I tried to drag him out. But it was as if there was some sinister force down there that wanted him for another purpose, and he's gone. He's gone. He's oh, gone. Right, Mrs. Jenkins. <laughs> Don't gone. worry. He's gone. Don't worry. <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> Do you hear that, Sarge? Jenkins. Yeah. Basket case. So lock the mad old bugger up or what? Shauna, could you uh, get me that apron sample? Thanks. You might as well take lunch now, Sean. Uh, Jack will be waiting for you. Uh, is he getting any better? Oh, I brought your book back, by the way. Oh, Bob. which one? Invasion of the Killer Crab. It was very exciting. I particularly like a bit when a crab's actually invaded. Mm. I read this interview with the author, and I got the impression that he intended the giant crabs to be a symbol of the dangers of rampant consumerism. Mm. I thought that the idea of little crabs turning into bloody great big ones was really scary. The scene where Craig, you know, the hero, has the symbolic game of chess with the leader of the crab. Says it all for me. I especially like the bits where the crab grunts everyone's heads up with their enormous pincers. Look, Anthony, I've tried to explain to you before, you're missing an awful lot in these books, you know. Science fiction is a literature of ideas. Mm, yes, I know. Part of source. And allegories of scientific possibilities. It's not just about monsters from outer space, you know. I mean, by discussing the future, we can help illuminate the present. I like monsters from outer space.
morning on the radio about the butcher. Yes. And I've noticed something very odd, actually, Colin. Usually, they give me my pint in a mug. But today, they've given me a straight glass. Perhaps we are being invaded by monsters from outer space. They're coming! They're coming! Who are coming? But they're coming! They're coming! Where are they coming no. from? They're coming! They're coming! Oh, all right, I'm coming! Hello! Hello, Wendy, it's Martin. Hello, Martin. I was just ringing to see if it's still all right for tonight. Yeah, 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 of course it is, Mark. Yeah, what, you mean the meal? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Yeah, there's something I want to talk to you about, but I can't talk over the phone. There's something I want to talk to you about, actually, Mark. I mean, it's going to sound like a really stupid question. Yeah? But have you ever seen a child? Yeah, of course I have, loads of times. Uh, that, that woman on Crossroads had one last week, didn't she? No, no, Mark, I, I mean like a real child in the flesh, you know? Don't be stupid, Wendy. There aren't any children in Middleford. No, that. But when you've been somewhere else? I haven't really been anywhere else. I haven't really seen the point. No. <laughs> You're like me. A couple of old stay-at-homes, aren't we, really? Wendy! 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 I, I, I know someone's there. You scared the knife out of me, you stupid cat. Hi. Look, Wendy, I'm really sorry about this, but I, I, I have nowhere to go. I tried to leave town like I said I would in the note. Only there's something strange about this place. It seems impossible to... Okay. Mm -hmm. 